Hello everyone, just Gordon here, and welcome back to another episode of the Plonkendal Zoo Tour. And as you can see by the beautiful boomerang entrance, we are going to look at Australia today, and I'm still joined by Eben. Hello! I am back like a boomerang, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so, last time I was at Plonkendal, uh, like half a year ago-ish, uh, this area was closed for renovations. So oh. There's actually some new stuff here, probably, that I wouldn't know about because I never saw it before. <laughs> yeah, I think for, so. for me, this is the first time that I'm going to see it with the renovations. Um, yeah. But it's also been like a year since I went there, so I'm not entirely sure what is going to be new and what is going to be old. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this area also just has some, some really nice female. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, for sure. Um, this is also the area with some of the animals that I never got to see and I think I've I've been to I think I, I've checked it and I think it was like five or six times that I've been there since I was a kid and certain animals I've never seen and especially in this area which um, which are not these animals these are the ones that I also <laughs> that I always saw um, mm -hmm. but yeah I like I love this kind of aviary I mean it's it's mm -hmm. I, I like the integration with with the um, with the wooden structure. Like it's 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 not like oh here's a very obvious clear aviary. They try to hide it a bit, which I which I always like. Yeah, I mean I'm just a fan of, of the aviaries with wooden posts <laughs> and stuff like Same. that. Beeksteberger has them all over the place. <laughs> um, it's just it's it just gives it a more naturalistic and nice vibe. Yeah, exactly. I also like aviaries that can actually feature like trees um, because sometimes mm -hmm. you have like these aviaries that are just like very empty because there's not much in terms mm -hmm. of plants but when they are able to put in trees I'm like yes that's the thing I want. <laughs> yeah. I also like it when the, oh. the trees are just part of the support structure of the aviary. Oh, yeah, You see that sometimes well but yeah here's a truck. Yeah I think this is new. <laughs> please, please don't kill me if anyone who has been here re more recently <laughs> than I have been. But yeah, that that, that kind of seems new. Oh yeah, for sure, that's new. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, we also have a boomerang bench. Um, the, their entire boomerang theming is <laughs> extremely on the nose. <laughs> it is like what, guys... It's like they ran out of ideas for Australia <laughs> really fast, so we're just like, oh fuck it, just put boomerangs everywhere. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, here's a nice little, uh, little exhibit for a small animal. Ooh. And this is for the Tasmanian Devil. Oh, oh, this is it's one of the most... I, th I think this is one of the best exhibits that they have at Blancanal. Um because it has so many different viewing points, so many different ways to see the animals. And when you see them running around in here, it's, it's like, it's so much fun. It is really cool, yeah. And, and we also have a little building in the back, of course, the backstage, which I think that's actually what we saw on the other side of mm -hmm. last episode, yeah. when we looked from uh, the outlook, basically. Yeah, and I think originally um, this, this is the part that was part of the older exhibit and the Part where you're going to now is the, the newer part, which is, mm. in my opinion, the best part of the zoo. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, these lovely. These little devils. They do nothing but running around. All oh, bam, oh my it's god. <laughs> boomerang, <laughs> boomerang door handles, of course, a staple for Australia. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, ask any Australian, and they will tell you they have boomerangs as door handles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but but yeah, no. This habitat it like wraps all the way around you, and yes. there you go <laughs> again. Um, it's lovely. Oh yeah, and it has like a bunch of cool signs as well. If uh, if they're still there, because I don't know if they were removed during the renovation. Um, I don't recall. I don't know which signs you're talking about. So. There's like there's like the really typical stereotypical Australian signs like oh watch out for the devil. <laughs> Like those 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 road signs, but with a Tasmanian devil on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I feel like if I sold them, I would have recorded. Them. Yeah, I think you would have. So I, th it feels like they've they've got rid of them, which is kind of a shame because I'll I'll see. I think I think I still have pictures of 
of those signs. So I'll, I'll upload them and I'll send them to you. Right, sweet. Oh. Because yeah, th that would actually be just another one for a list of like, this area is filled with, just like the last one actually, it's just filled with pieces that we also have in Planet Zoo basically. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Like with all of the, the Aboriginal beings. Um, and the boomerangs. Stuff like that. And <laughs> Oh no, the cats are meowing. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, you you gotta you get you got a backstage peek, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this you you've also visited the zoo at a point in time where there's so much foliage. Lush. Yeah, lush yes. foliage. Like I think I I don't think I've ever been to the zoo when there's been this much. This feels like it's 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 like right before they go. Okay, I need to, we need to trim this. We need to trim this. <laughs> oh, oh, I think, I think before there was an exhibit here. Right. Was this the wombat? I think it was. Yes. Um, yeah. I am still one hundred percent convinced that wombat wombats aren't real animals because I never saw them. <laughs> I've um, never seen them. Either. <laughs> but yeah, they uh, the the zoo did announce that. Um, they got rid of the wombat. Oh, well, they didn't get rid of it. It passed away. Oh, and yeah. They got rid of the exhibit. Oh yeah, this is. So. This, oh, do they we have finally here. have a decent way of seeing? Oh my god! <laughs> I've I've been to this zoo so many times, and it takes a, a zoo tour video to finally see the Etnicia. Come on, Etnicia? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an echidna. Echidna. It's a short thank you. <laughs> But yeah, there's got a little indoor view over here, which is like a tool shed. Oh yeah, like like before, before it was just like one mini little window, and like there was no way to look into it. Mm. Um, but this is there's, much better. And then here we have the outdoor enclosure, which is on the other side of that backstage we oh, saw. Oh, cool. And yeah, I, I do like all the, the log cabins and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah, there we can see the backstage we saw <laughs> earlier. <laughs> uh, just all I, the peaks. I, I, I've been to a zoo with you. I can I can already imagine you just trying to like scoot your way between things <laughs> just to get a backstage. This view. is this is a weird path. I don't even know if this is an actual path. I don't think it originally was, um, because if I'm if my memory serves me correctly, I think this was where you're standing right now. There used to be another exhibit. Yeah, because that's why there's probably that. Yeah, that little, little hatchet. Yeah. But oh. there are two logs over there you can stand on. Oh, so yeah. I feel like. Uh, yeah, I think it's 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 meant to be something because Plunkendal does have sort of adventure trails, <laughs> not not <laughs> not like um, Big Spaden has, but like. I mean, there are a couple of like ones that I would say are even more advanced than the ones at the Square. Yeah? I mean, like the one we saw last episode, and the, there will be another one at the end of this episode as well. I mean, we don't have advanced roads, but we do have advanced playgrounds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, over here we have the wallaby and kangaroo habitat, which we also got a glimpse of um, um, while we were looking at the Tasmanian devils. And look at all this Aboriginal art and stuff. It's and cool. did they have emu in this exhibit as well, or did they? They do have it on the signage. You can see it in the back over there. It's been separated. Uh, probably, oh, okay. Probably because of the bird flu, but I'm confused because I was allowed to enter aviaries. So I don't know what the bird flu situation was when I was here. To be oh, honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we have the. Uh, I, I didn't get a good glimpse of the sign in my video. So I'm not sure, but I think these are the gray kangaroo and the swamp wallaby. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's that as well. Yeah, but usually it used to have um, emus in there as well, and you could get like super super close. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like weird that they are no longer in that exhibit. I think I think they can be. Uh, maybe they just have a little oh, separate yeah. area as well. Um, but yeah, I think this is rather new. I don't know. <laughs> I All don't of these ridges and stuff. It feels new, yes. Like for me, this is this is so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, over here we do get a quick glimpse of those oh. emu that are back there. So there oh, we go. Yeah. We saw them. 
cross off the checklist. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love Emu. See, this is mostly how because of that one video of Juarez. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you get pecked. Like I thought, I thought that one video with the penguin would have been enough for you <laughs> to realize that you can't get this close to birds. But apparently, you don't learn, Goron. <laughs> I didn't get close to them. Oh, I just, I just zoomed in a little bit. Oh, yeah. this is cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, I do have to revisit Blancanal soon. Well, yeah, so soon in September when, <laughs> when all the kids are gone. Yeah, <laughs> when schools are open again, and I can go and be on my own and in, in peace. <laughs> yeah, we've got all of these bridges going over the water. And Are there the still? Sides, we have. Was there still like fake crocodiles in the water, or did they I get rid of them? I didn't. I didn't spot any. So too bad. Your yeah. favorite little thing is gone. <laughs> um, but I don't know what this exhibit's gonna be for. I can I at least see. I think it's uh, a secondary exhibit for the cassowary. I guess yeah, because on the other side we do have uh, the southern cassowary. Yes. Oh, but this is much better now. This kind of was needed. Like before, you could you could um, you you basically walked by um, mm -hmm. the cassowary fence, and now they actually have like they can reach the water. It's so much better. Cool. Yeah. So it's more like the water is like a secondary barrier now. Yeah. Yeah. As well. This is so good. That's good. Oh yeah, and yeah. this is and then <laughs> this is this is something I like as well because. Whenever we get giant statues in the game, there's always <laughs> there's always someone who says, "Oh, zoos don't have giant statues of animals." <laughs> and I'm always I'm always thinking like, "Yeah, you've never been to Blancanal." <laughs> <laughs> this thing is beautiful. It's it is beautiful, and I wish we had something like more like this in the uh, in the zoo in the game because this is just so much fun. <laughs> it's, I just I do wonder like. I mean, you get a little bit of a different view into the hex exhibit from here, but it's nothing too special. Yeah, I think I think before, I think I think it perhaps has changed places. I'm not entirely sure. Um, because uh, the Australian area is also not that big, so you don't you don't spend before you didn't spend that much time in it because the like the cassowary exhibit wasn't really that much. To write mm -hmm. home about now it's a lot better so for me it's like really trying to remember like oh what was here and, and what has changed and mm -hmm. i do know that your favorite animals are in this area so that's that's good yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Great, great. thank you <laughs> so sadly uh this little house uh, was closed oh still. i'm not sure why but this is a little house that has a couple of exhibits in it. So you've got uh, the Blue Tox King. You could kind of look from the outside in a little bit, yeah. especially for the, these guys. So we have the Blue Tox King. Um, so that was really nice. I think this is the first time I saw them in any zoo. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess they are maybe rearranging the setup a bit because it was a bit in a, it was kind of set up in a way that you kind of sometimes bumped into each other. Um, oh, right. So perhaps they were updating that a bit. Yeah, I think this exhibit is for a rich tail monitor. Yes, um, and you can see him. Um, he has a camera on with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. That thing should be in there. I don't know where, I can't really spot it. And this is for the children's python. Ooh. Don't know why it's called that. <laughs> Well, you have adult pythons, and then you have specific ones for children. Like, come on. Yeah, or they eat children. Maybe. <laughs> you knew you knew what you were getting into when you <laughs> when you asked me to join. <laughs> but yeah, they uh, also have some smaller exhibits, but I yeah. I couldn't tell what those were for. Probably um, stick and stuff. Yeah, stick insects, yeah. Uh, spiders, stuff like that. Right. Yeah, and here we have a little bit of education on the kangaroos how far can they jump so we've got these distance posts oh 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 great bridge. like this is the path you need to go to and you're gonna let that's the only path to continue or ain't gonna let children jump there all the time <laughs> blocking the path <laughs> my inner mic is is like that is not good for guest flow <laughs> i mean i guess wouldn't flow anyway because <laughs> 
you know, everyone's praising themselves for the worst animal in the world. So. Oh wow! Oh, they, <laughs> oh, this finally became like an actual structure. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Before this was like it felt like more of a temporary structure. Okay. Um, okay. This I think they also upgraded the interior of the koalas. Um, yeah. So and here love, it is. This is the Queensland koala. And I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> I know you oh, don't okay. like koalas I'll, for some I'll, weird ass reason, but <laughs> I'll break character a little bit. They're kind of cute. <sighs> there you go. <laughs> I'll admit it. I do like that they have a soft floor under where all the climbing structures are, so that if they're too dumb to fall out, they won't break that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. There he, he, he gave. The, he was positive for like two seconds, and that. Was, I uh, yeah. And on the other one, we have the way better animal, the uh, oh, Goodfellas yeah. tree kangaroo, which I really like to see. Did I, yeah, this is also like a very clear sign that both of these, that the zoo of Antwerp and Plankendal are connected with each other because these two exhibits really, they use exactly the, the same kind of climbing structures <laughs> and, and setup as they have in Antwerp. It's really... yeah. It's really cool to see that they are using that expertise in like every zoo that they have. <laughs> this, yeah. this does look better than it looked before. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I do <laughs> like it a lot though. Is there still that super sad? Oh no, I think they, no, they got rid of it. On, oh, your, okay. on your right, there used to be like a super sad little, um, oh, this is cool. Yeah, you can grab some eucalyptus. At least I think that's what they intend here. I mean, eucalyptus is like, isn't eucalyptus like really expensive to grow? Why would they? Oh, I don't. I know. don't know. <laughs> I also thought it was venomous or something, but <laughs> yeah, if you eat it. But yeah, they're used on your right. They used. I mean, to isn't be... that exactly what a kid would do if they saw a koala eating eucalyptus and then there is a pot of eucalyptus? Isn't that exactly what a kid would do? Try to eat it. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> but what I was trying to say, there was on your right, there was a uh, an outdoor exhibit for the koala, um, which I would oh. just put it in like if the weather was nice enough. But I think they don't have that anymore. I guess. I guess now that the actual exhibit is uh, a lot more mm -hmm. official looking, they might not see the need for it anymore. Yeah, though I did read something like a while back that zoos are moving towards keeping koalas outdoors as well because keeping them indoors all the time isn't healthy um, mm. yeah but <laughs> this is the kind yeah. of climbing playground structure that Wyatt would say like no 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 no, we're not having this in St. <laughs> Reginald Zoo this, is, this doesn't seem that safe now does it <laughs> I mean, your kids will definitely get wet. I definitely heard several parents say to kids, no, 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 no. <laughs> you're not going on there. <laughs> but if, if, we were going, if we were going to the zoo, I would say the complete opposite. Come on, Goron, go, 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 get on it. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting you to complain that I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I complained in the last episode. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> all right, all right, thanks. No, I actually really loved this tree over here it's one of uh, we saw it earlier on the sign as well it's like mm -hmm. a cypress it looks so cool it's i don't know if this is still the case but um the path in in this area is also different from the main path right i'm pretty sure yeah yeah it's the red the redder stone yeah it's like a redder sand kind of thing yeah yeah and i i do like that i like it when mm -hmm. When zoos use paths to show the difference between certain areas, um, something that we kind of want to do in St. Reginald, but the paths in Planet Zoo are not letting us at the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're they're quite not quite quite limiting because there aren't that many good ones. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, I I, uh, I I still wonder, and I think I don't know if I asked that last episode as well, but because of all the trees that have like their little sign plaques and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is part botanical garden? Yeah, oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's also like, it's always been this way. Um, mm. They've, the, the Kama, um, so like the society that has both 
Antwerp and Planken. I'll, I'll probably repeat that in almost every episode. But <laughs> that w that society is also like very invested in plant life as well. Um, right. So they do try to educate guests on um, plant the life. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was it already. <laughs> it was a very short area, so a shorter video to boot. But in the next episode, it's going to be a bit longer because we're going to go into the Africa area. We might actually split that up into episodes as well because it is definitely the biggest area, I think. Yes, and it does so, have the jankiest sign of all the areas. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.